I've come to Parscourt Estate, home to one of the most perfect historic gardens in the world. Peter Dowdell is a celebrity gardener and advocates for a more natural approach to gardening. So I asked him for some tips. Hi, Peter. Hi, Duncan. How are you? Thanks for coming up in court. Hello. Good to see you. Delighted to be here. Absolutely. And great. <coughs> I'm really looking forward to getting some advice from you. Do we really need all these chemicals that we're using in our gardens in Ireland? The short answer there, Duncan, I think is no, we don't. Now, the good news is, of course, there are alternatives to most of them, but it comes down to, to educating ourselves. So, in other words, if, if we have something out there that we don't want, let's say green fly uh, or any other aphid, like a white fly or a green fly or a black fly on the plants, we can go out there and we can, we can pour the nasty chemicals on it to get rid of them, but we're also killing the, the, the bees, the ladybirds, and what most people won't know is that the, the, the natural predator for your green fly or for your aphids is uh, the ladybird. Mm -hmm. One ladybird will eat about 20,000 green fly in its life. No, yeah, yeah. I don't know who counted. But aphids. But yeah, yeah for one, one ladybird will eat about 20,000 aphids in its lifetime. And unfortunately, a lot of the chemicals that we put out to kill the aphids will also kill the ladybirds. Right. Doesn't make sense. No. But then you go look for an organic type one, one, one containing pyrrol, which is very effective in the control of aphids but not that harmful to bees and to, and to ladybirds. Right, so, so, it's so there are good solutions. There are, not for everything, yeah. not for everything, but there are a lot of them out there that, are, that have a good, viable and uh, organic, where possible, alternative. So you've got some good products here, but again, you can even in a good store like here, there yeah. are certain ones here that do damage. There are, there are, and if you look at some of them, you, ha you have these symbols, toxic to aquatic life, with long lasting effects. Irritable to the eyes is another one. Causes serious eye irritation. Mm -hmm. Toxic to aquatic life with long lasting effects again. So mm. it's going to leach into the water table. Mm. We might live near a river, near a stream. It's going to get into the water supply. There's an accumulation of chemicals then in the soil, in the lawn, in whatever it is. If you're still not sure if that's safe to use or not, ask, mm -hmm. ask, ask, ask. Because in the garden center, you know, you will tend to find people who are of like mind that they care about the garden, they care about the green environment, and they're only too happy to share their knowledge with somebody who's showing an interest. As consumers, it's incumbent upon us, I think, to, to ask and then to start insisting on only using the right guys. So if you're in a garden centre, let's say like so many of us, we want something to fix the problem. If the only thing that's there is a nasty chemical, well, are the few green flying your roses worth putting a nasty chemical mm. into the environment for I certainly don't think so. Because if the stores stop selling them and stop making money out of them, well sure enough and quickly enough, they'll follow the market, they'll follow the consumer and they'll start stocking the right things. So where are we going to start? I was thinking we might go out and have a look at the lawns. What do you think? Ah, yeah. Why not? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Go out and have a look. Good stuff. Get to work. <laughs>